In this tutorial we're going to look at object snaps and so snaps are used for when you move models around um, and want to snap one geometry to another geometry and this could work for 3D geometry or 2D geom geometry like lines um, or planes. So in this case we'll make uh, two boxes here and to turn on your snaps you just hit this button here which is the three with a magnet. If you want to change your snap settings you can right click on that button and then get your grid and snap settings and by default it's set to grid points. I'm going to turn that off and set it to vertex which will be all the points along the surface um, where the edges uh, meet each other. You can also do things like endpoint, midpoint. If you want you can always change the size of the marker so you can see as I hover there's a certain size of that yellow little marker. You can change that if you want. You can also enable axis constraints so if I snap only in one axis um, it'll, it'll stay within that axis so that's kind of a nice feature um, some people turn that on, some people turn it off, so just uh, see what's most comfortable for you. You can also change here the grid dimensions, so if you don't like the spacing of this grid, you can change it right now, it's set at 10 inches, sometimes I change that to one foot, um, it's just a personal preference. Okay, and so you know these are active when this thing is highlighted, to turn it off you just unhighlight it. Uh, now to use the snaps, you use your move, rotate, and scale, and so now if I use my move, for example, and I want to snap this corner, I can hover over this corner and then I'll get my little move icon then I can drag it to whatever vertice I want to snap to. So if I want to snap it down there, I can drag it down there. So you don't want to move, like if I move here, um, you don't really want to move if you have your snaps on unless you want to snap. Uh, so for example, because I right click, because I turned on my axis constraints, if I drag on the Z arm, it's only going to snap in the Z direction, which is really nice. If I right click and turn that off um, and I try to drag up, it's going to go all over the place. So that's what I mean. If you don't want to snap, I recommend turning it off. That way you can uh, just kind of move more freely. So um, turn it on and it will drag and try to snap to everything. If I turn on axis constraints, it'll only snap in that axis. The other thing you can do, if you turn on your uh, rotate snap and turn on your rotate tool, if you have your rotate snap on, you'll see if you look down here at the XYZ, as I rotate, if I just grab one of my arms, it's rotating in five degree increments. And so if I have the rotate snap on, it's a really kind of nice way to be like, all right, I want to rotate 90 degrees. So I have my rotate snap on and you can just sort of visually see um, when it's 90. If I turn that off, you can see that it's, it's a much more difficult um, challenge to rotate a very precise amount unless you're typing in values down here. So I could type in 50. But um, it's just kind of useful to turn that on and off if you want to snap in five degree increments. Um, and those are the two major snaps. You can, if you hold this down, you can see there's other kinds of snaps like a 2D snap um, and 3D. But typically, you're going to use 3D because we're working in 3D.